Good morning. Today is September 26, 2022. And today's I'm going to show you a quick game. There's no puzzle on this one, but I'm going to show you a few positions where it's going to be really, really fun and exciting over here. So the today's topic is bluffs and billions. So it starts with a bluff. And then there's like so many brilliant moves that I'm gonna uh, that I'm going to show you. I'm really happy about this thing. So let's begin. Standard opening so far, and that's a rather aggressive one over here. Usually that's not done. Usually it's something else over here. It's starting contesting the square over here, and with two possibilities. This pawn move, this square, is basically taken care of. So that's one thing to consider. Again, contesting this move. So this square, this square, this square, this square. Like positional ad advantages, really. And it's an open file. Well, it's half open file. So next move. And you can see that position is really equal. There's not nothing exciting happening over here. This is uh, increasing the tension, really. But that's all it is. It's not really something to be excited about. And here we are at the end of the opening stage. And there's nothing going on. There's, there's really nothing going on. There's really nothing going on. Uh, the evaluation here is like uh, slightly advantage of white, but really, it there's nothing that and any side, other side can do. So this really promises to be a boring game, one of those yeah, so-called perfect game. But there's nothing exciting. There's nothing going on. So I was thinking this maybe this is going to be a bad game. I'm gonna do something unique. So who here, move here, move here, start attacking. Yes, of course it went back and start here. Now this is I guess a typical of me putting the pawns up to the opponent king. So that's very typical of me. That's easing up the pressure. And uh, that's basically just cutting up the pawn with uh, a bonus point that maybe I can put a rook here and attack there. But this is like far in the future. And this is a very strong attack over here. Just as I have two pawns over here bearing down the king, white has three pawns bearing down my king. So it's a question of who gets who first, which one is faster. Now, what has an uh, advantage in tempo, right? What moves first? So I know I need to do something drastic over here. So just get to it. And of course, that's the thing, same thing. And that's neutralized. I mean, basically, what has neutralized my attack? And this is a very, very interesting over here. Like, if you look back at over here at um, position 18, I'm starting to attack, starting to attack. <coughs> I know that this is pretty much useless attack, right? I mean, I know what can defend this attack, and there's nothing I can do about it, which is why when it gets to this point, what is this attacking? And my attack has petered out to Nothing basically. Boom. And you can look at evaluation here, that's plus four for advantage white. Basically white can just, you know, take the rook over here and that that be it. Because really I'm not basically I'm not meeting white over here. Now if the net is not here and the this pawn is over here, that's a different story. But it's not so <laughs> so this is a bluff the, the big bluff the 
and yes, quite took the plow. And now suddenly, position has been neutralized, and the advantage what has is gone. So this is what in the position over here. This pawn is unguarded, so you can have bishop here attack that, or maybe you can have a queen over there and at and attack that. So this is my weak point. On the uh, on the other hand, this is going to be to have some really exciting m life, you know, pretty soon after that. So this is move twenty two over here. Of course, of course, what attacks? And this is move twenty three. The knight is start attacking over here, basically trying to take away as many squares as possible, you know, from the king to escape, so try, try to take as many squares away from avenue of escape. Next move. And this is one, one move over here and then take that and I will be in trouble. Check. And you have to do that, right? Well, no, you don't have to do that. You can just move the king here. So you can just move the king here. So what am I going to do? Not much. I mean, it's not like I can go. I can take the bishop. I cannot do that. Yep. <coughs> if I go there, you can go here, go there. Now, if the king move anywhere here or here, the rook will go here and take the queen. But is that so bad? Let's say over here, go over there and take the queen, and and suddenly, you know, I have uh, one queen versus two rooks, and I have not and bishop. So, you know, it's not that big of a deal over here, pawns over here will ha basically beat my pawns over here, so this would be a draw position, it's not a winning position by any chance. But that's not what he did, he moved this way over here, and so I just take this one over here, and black design, uh, and, and white design, because, like I said, it's pawns up here, so what takes root? Check. Uh, go here and and I have one queen versus two rook and also have this thing over here so so suddenly I have a good advantage over there so big advantage uh, the valuation here is like 66 to my favor. So that's what it is. A bluff. Attack, attack. Rook sacrifice and boom. There you go. That's it for today. Thank you for watching and I'll see you tomorrow.